Brandon, who resides alone, finds himself grappling with unexplained paranormal phenomena within his home. Speculating on potential origins, he considers the possibility that he inadvertently brought something back with him during his travels to various locations. Initially, Brandon's encounters manifest as inexplicable sounds echoing throughout the house, leaving him perplexed and unsettled. However, one fateful night while situated in his room, he discerns mysterious noises emanating from the upper floor. Intrigued and perhaps apprehensive, Brandon decides to document the occurrence and captured this. It's really bad right now. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Why is the tree on there? Whatever that is, is coming from up here. Should I attempt to go on there? Fuck. Because that was coming that all that thumping it was coming from like right in there in that room oh. Come up for a sec, man. what the fuck bro? what the fuck was that you guys did i just hear that right now okay Okay, okay. That I'm not fucking with. That I'm not fucking with. That I'm not fucking with, bro. That I'm not fucking with, bro. That I don't play around with. That I don't play around with. I don't know. Oh, no. Whatever that fucking was just came down the stairs. Yo, I don't like this, bro. This door's just about to open. Guys, am I like crazy? Or was there not a voice? Upstairs. In my voice. In his room. Brandon is startled by aggressive banging originating from the upper floor, prompting him to investigate. However, his resolve is tested when he hears his own voice calling out to him, seemingly attempting to lure him upstairs. Sensing danger, Brandon hastily retreats to the safety of his room, where he remains locked inside for the remainder of the night. Given that Brandon's YouTube channel predominantly features his travel and adventure experiences, with this being the sole video related to the paranormal, it appears unlikely that he seeks attention or clout. Many viewers speculate that Brandon may be haunted by a mimic, an entity capable of imitating voices to manipulate and lure unsuspecting victims. However, the true nature of the haunting remains unknown. Despite being posted over five years ago, this next video still retains its eerie atmosphere. Uploaded by Max, the footage documents his exploration of a secluded section of a park, where he stumbles upon an entryway to a hidden sewer tunnel. Intrigued by the discovery, Max and a friend decide to venture into the tunnel, driven by curiosity. However, their decision to explore the dark confines of the tunnel would soon lead to unforeseen consequences. Let's watch as the events unfold. See it? Oh man, I'm gonna cut it off. This is gonna be annoying. Hold on. Okay, so we got pretty far. Hold on. Yeah, we got pretty far. That's the entrance, the exit out there. So here's the manhole cover. You can kind of see it. Uh, here's like the ladder, but now we're pretty far. Where are you guys taking? I'm going up here. 
As Max and his friend reach a dead end in the tunnel, they are startled by an eerie noise that seems to emanate from nowhere. Upon closer listening, the sound resembles faint laughter echoing in the distance. Overcome with fear, both friends instinctively flee the scene without fully grasping the origin of the unsettling sound. It is only upon reviewing the video footage later that they realize the sinister nature of the laughter which appears to have no identifiable source. The absence of any other individuals in the vicinity adds an extra layer of unease to the already chilling encounter. Despite the passage of time since the incident in 2017, Max and his friend remain perplexed by the mystery of the mysterious laughter. Jeff, Mark and Becky members of the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel embark on an investigation of the reputedly haunted Fort Horsestead. Constructed in 18th century, the fort held significance as one of five forts guarding the site where iron warships were built. Although it remained inactive until World War I and was subsequently abandoned in early 19th century, it gained notoriety during the Battle of Britain when six enemy aircraft were shot down above the fort, crashing nearby. Over the years, numerous reports of paranormal activity have surfaced from those who dare to enter Fort Horsestead. One area within the fort, in particular, is notorious for demonic encounters, with several individuals reportedly falling victim to attacks. Guests frequently recount experiences of disembodied voices, full-bodied apparitions, and shadowy figures, further adding to the fort's chilling reputation. With these accounts in mind, the team braces themselves to commence their investigation. Let me start again. That was really strange because something's just turned my camera off. Um, you can bother you on that camera, the, the noise of the camera being switched off. I was obviously nowhere near it, so I've had to start recording again. Oh, right, um, as I was saying, my name's Mark. I've come a long way to visit. If there is someone with me at the moment, and the person who, or spirit that turned my camera off, do you see these flashing lights here? If you come over and touch the metal antenna, it will make a noise and let me know you're here. So. Would there be any chance you could do that or make a noise to let, so I know you're here? Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. Movement comes from the stairs next to Mark, which is then followed by a disembodied voice saying, I'm Martin. Here is the enhanced audio. Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. The investigation takes a chilling turn when Mark experiences bizarre movement accompanied by a ghostly voice, signalling that he may not be alone in the fort. Undeterred, the team proceeds to the area notorious for demonic activity, where they encounter a startling event almost immediately. It's 
Co się z Bogu wykrywa? Co się z Bogu wykrywa? Co się z Bogu You okay? Yeah, yeah, just freak me out. You've never killed one like that. So, this is what they call the demonic area. Can you shout out? Speak to us or make some sort of noise so we know that you are here and that you're listening to us. Something's moving. Is that you? Can you make another loud noise? Following Mark's unsettling experience of feeling someone tugging on his coat, the team is further alarmed by the distinct sound of intense banging emanating from a nearby location. Undeterred by the escalating activity, Jeff and Becky venture into one of the long passageways infamous for sightings of shadow figures. As they initiate their questioning, they are met with a swift response, underscoring the eerie atmosphere pervading the fort. So my name is Jeff, and the lady there holding a the camera, her name is Becky. Can we ask what your name is, please? If you can hear my voice, shout out as loud as you can. If you can't shout out, then please throw something, move something. There's lots of things here that you can do. Can you do that now for us, please? Okay, well I guess you have made a noise to let us know that you're here. Are you able to approach us? We don't mean you no harm. And we hope that you mean us no harm. Another banging sound comes from nearby which is then followed by a woman's voice or a child's voice saying, who's that banging? Here is the audio with enhancements taken from my digital recorder. We don't mean you no harm. We don't mean you no harm. In response to Jeff's inquiries, the team is met with a series of banging sounds and a disembodied voice. 
heightening the intensity of the investigation. Undeterred by the unnerving occurrences, Becky opts to conduct a solo investigation, separating from the group to delve deeper into the mysteries of Fort Horsestead. However, little do they anticipate the strange turn of events that awaits them. I don't know if you can see the little flashy lights on the ground here. But if you, there's a, there's a little aerial sticking up um, where the lights are. And if you go near that aerial, you can, it'll just make a little buzzy noise. And that way I'll know you're with me. Thank you. Hello, sweetheart. What's your name? What's your name, darling? Can you tell me your name on this red light here? Can you tell me what your name is? Did you like the flashy lights? See if you can do it again. Someone is moving over there. Some, there was a big movement of something. I'm afraid I'm going to have to put the torch on. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Who's down there? Make yourself known. See if you can do it again. Someone is moving over there. Some, there was a big movement of something. I'm afraid I'm going to have to put the torch on. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Alone in the oppressive darkness of the tunnel, Becky's attention is seized by the unmistakable sound of shuffling feet echoing through the void. Hastening to illuminate her surroundings with her flashlight, she discerns the eerie sensation of the unseen entity. Hastily retreating, as if intent on evading detection. However, rather than dissipating, the unsettling activity appears to escalate, casting a deeper shadow of dread over Becky's solitary vigil in the tunnel. Who is that? What is that? Whoever you are, stop shuffling around up there. Who are you? Now, Laura, I don't know if you if you came, if you've been in to see me. But what is that? As the sound of approaching footsteps grows louder, Becky's unease intensifies, leaving her feeling increasingly vulnerable and apprehensive, sensing the mounting fear. She swiftly retreats from the tunnel, eager to escape the unnerving presence. Intrigued by Becky's experience, Jeff decides to take her place, venturing into the tunnel alone to assess if the unsettling activity persists in her absence. If you're further down at the end of the tunnel, throw something. Wow. Someone's moving. Now down there, there is like a stone floor, gravel floor, and it sounded like dragging on that gravel floor.
Who's down there? Who's down there? As Jeff cautiously approaches the source of the footsteps emanating from the end of the dark tunnel, he searches diligently but finds no trace of anyone or anything that could have produced the eerie sound. Perplexed yet undeterred, he remains in place, his senses heightened in anticipation. It's then that something chilling is captured on his digital recorder. I hear a disembodied muffled voice of a woman come from within the casemates in front of me. Here is the audio taken from the digital recorder that I am holding. The ghostly voice captured on Jeff's digital recorder provides a haunting clue to the source of the mysterious movement within the tunnel. With this compelling evidence in hand, the team reaches a chilling conclusion. A dark energy lingers within the confines of Fort Horse Stead. Thanks for watching scary videos. Here we make scary comp or scary compilation where we do reaction and narration on scary videos, creepy videos, scary ghost videos, ghosts caught on camera, scary TikTok ghost videos, poltergeist, paranormal activity, demons and witches. Caught on camera, paranormal investigations of ghost hunters and ghost hunting. These are the scariest videos on the internet. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, share and press the notification bell so you get notified every time when we post new content.